All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Kakadash, and the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and his only God. Salaki. So lock it for that momentary pause, uh, brother had a delivery. So once again, you know, this is a uh, sit down lesson of the uh, latest prophecy updates as of uh, August the 14th, 2024. Hey, back at it again with another round of uh, prophecies that we seen in our world today. Another update prophecies as of August the 14th, 2024. So with that, once again, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakadash. And the Heavenly Father, the true name is Yahweh, and His unbegotten Son, Baha Shem, and the name of Mashiach, Kabashah. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lash Wangadas, the Little Tongue. And I say Barak Thumbs to the uh, elders, Wahaki Mahakwaf, and I say Shalom. Once again, this is a uh, sit down lesson of the uh, latest prophecy updates as of August the 14th, 2024. So let's begin with it. See the uh, latest prophecy updates that's been taking place. The Pentagon reveals losses in Syria attack. It says uh, two US, two U.S. made armed vehicles destroyed in Russia. Right as we've been seeing the uh, Russia-Ukraine situation is heating up. It says German issues a first arrest warrant over the Nord Stream blast. Media reports. Right, and that, and that been you know that been uh, and that been a while back. You know, especially that uh, pipeline, uh, scream, uh, scream, the North uh, scream pipeline, as that been taking place as well too, as of uh, for the past couple of years. This is another news article. It says the EU nations sound the alarm over Russian gas imports. It says uh, another news article: Ukraine will bitterly regret the Kurdish attack. Moscow reports. Right once again, the uh, Russian Ukraine situation is intensifying. It says uh, most Brits will vote to rejoin the EU as a uh, court to holds. Fighter jets collided over France. It says uh, thousands of street lights stolen in India, Holy Town. Russian defense. It says uh, Russian defense throttle Ukraine air attacks. This is from August 14, 2024. It says. Uh, KV launched four tactical ballistic missiles over 100 drones overnight, which reportedly intercepted. It says uh, Russian forces have intercepted the four Tuscan U tactical ballistic missiles and 117 Kamikaze drones launched overnight by Ukraine at various parts of the country. The Defense Ministry in Moscow has reported most were drones over. Most drunk and said most were down over the Korea region, which Kavi invaded last week, and what its leadership has taught a way to secure a better position for the future peace. And all the Soviet era missiles and 37 other drones were down there, 
according to the uh, military civilian officials. So once again, like I mentioned before, you know, the Russian the Russian Ukraine situation is only going to intensify more and more. And that definitely back that definitely backs up with the uh, wars, rumors of wars, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. It says chemical weapons used by the Ukrainian likely over the Western origins, uh, according to uh, Moscow. I believe representation from Moscow made that report. It says U.S. approves twenty billion dollar weapon sales to Israel. It says method that promised permits punish for corrupt region, which I spoke about that previously. UK, it says UK, uh, right, UK nuclear submarine captain fired over over a uh, porn. <laughs> so let's just check out some more news articles as of late. It says uh, the uh, WHO, the WHO, if you know what I mean, declared monkeypox outbreak in Africa over a global health emergency. Hey, that's that goes into that second Acts 15 verse 5. Behold, said the hour that I will bring plagues upon the world. And that's what we're seeing. It says, uh, Ohio, Ohio officer faced murder charge in the 2020, in the 2023 shooting of a pregnant black, uh, black woman, Israelite, Israelite woman. Hey, what's that scripture says, uh, Zechariah 11 verse 5, but says to uh, who, possess, who possesses Satan holds themselves not guilty, even if it's justified or unjustified. We're going to be seeing that ramping up more a lot in these uh, last days. This is a uh, book some more news articles. It says, uh, Ernest Benno intensified into the hurricane one path. Hey, that's that uh, Isaiah 29, verse 6. Uh, Yahweh of hosts visiting this earth with storms and tempests, flame divided fire, and second edge of the ninth chapter. So, all these uh, storms, and, uh, all these tornadoes, storms, and tempests, and flame divided fire, we're going to see more and more of an increase in visitation from the Heavenly Father. Uh, I believe uh, that that latest new storm is going to be hitting uh, Puerto Rico and then the islands in the Caribbean islands throughout that region. Because what once we had previously uh, Hurricane uh, Devin, now we got a new uh, hurricane is on the horizon that's touching down in the Caribbean islands and then you know over in Puerto Rico. So that's the visitation from the Heavenly Father, you know, second half of the night chapter, Isaiah twenty nine verse six. As I reference that scripture, let's see some more news articles. That it says, uh, CDC warns of cases of high contagious coronavirus B19 on the rise. What is it? Right, that's the once again, that's the plagues from the father. Even though we got speaking word with these uh speaking words with these uh, uh speaking code, you know, because he saw Edom, you know, he uh, hit our pages with tag flag our pages and stuff like that. Meantime, we'll bring out some scriptures, bring out some more news articles. As we see in the uh, increasing uh, prophecies, the increasing prophecies are increasing. Mm 
Matter of fact, bring up that Jeremiah 28 verse 8. And then from there, I'm bring out some more news articles, the latest, uh, latest prophecies as in August the 14th, 24. Yeah, this is uh, the prophet Jeremiah 28 verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before thee and before thee of old prophesying both against many countries and great kingdoms of war, evil, and pestilence. Right, so these are war, evil, and pestilence that we see in our world today. Just like that monkeypox as the uh, the world health the world health you know what organization mentioned that there was a uh, potential of a global outbreak of that impox if you know what I mean so those are the best of plagues from heaven father you know that's why we're prophesying against great countries and great kingdoms of war evil and pestilence so these war evil and pestilence that we see in our world today is only going to continue to increase just like the prophets of old prophesied I mentioned these very important signs that's what we're doing in modern day times as being the servants and prophets and messengers of the heavenly father prophesying against great countries and great kingdoms of uh, war evil and pestilence so these war evil and pestilence is only going to continue to increase especially from the visitation from the heavenly father with these uh, evils and pestilence and he's going to show forth these increasing wars as well too now since i mentioned that now i'm going to bring out that second address 15 verse 5 so these are uh, Chloria outbreak, the Celestial outbreak, this Mpox outbreak, and these are uh, cold word cases that are going back up. These are uh, pests of the plagues from Heaven Father as he's continuing to make a visitation on this planet Earth, life and so because he's a uh, righteous balance power. This is uh, Second Edges 15 verse 5 and reads, Behold, say it, thou, thou will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Right, so sword, famine, death, and destruction and plagues from Heaven Father is only going to continue to increase. That's the visitation from Heaven Father. You know? And this is uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 12, verse 14. To sums it up, sums it up to that. Yeah, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 14. Yeah, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 14, it says, For your hour shall bring every work into judgment, and every secret thing, what it be good, what it be evil, God, what it be good, what it be evil. Now, if we get into that uh, book of Sorak, as we continue to occupy the prophecies, in remembering, in remembering of knowledge of the uh, ancient of days, yeah, this is, uh, this is uh, the book of Sorak, Chapter 39 and verse 1 from the Apocryphal books of the Holy Scriptures of Greeks. It said, But he that give his mind to the law of the Most High, which is Yahweh, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all ancient. It says, And occupying prophecies, right? We are occupying prophecies, just like our group forefathers did when they was prophesying, when they was on the scene, when they was being messengers and servants of prophecy. That's what's taking place in modern day tasks as well, too, from our elders and our, from our Akian brothers as well, too. Occupying in prophecies, sounding alarm, boom, trumpet, measuring time, diligent itself, and continue to be on our watch. And we are occupying in prophecies, and that's what we're doing in our modern day time, just like the prophets of old did, as I brought up that Jeremiah 28, verse 8, so it makes perfect sense. And continuing on with the uh, latest news articles that sums it up with the uh, latest prophecy updates as of August the 14th, 2024, like I mentioned again. See some uh, latest ones that's been taking place. Go to AirNews.com, another uh, outside source media outlet. It says a uh, news article with Greek where uh, it says Turkey will continue to increase pressure on Israel. It says uh, Greece tackles last wildfire near Athens assess damage. Right, that's the visitation from the Heavenly Father. It says uh, Turkey will continue to increase pressure on Israel in regard to Palestinian leaders. The two leaders discussed recent developments and steps to be taken for the last ceasefire and peace deal in Gaza. And 
It says uh, Turkey right to hold new round of security talks in Ankara. Right in car of uh, Turkey. So yeah, these are just the most recent ones. So I'm gonna switch up the topic. And get into that uh also the latest yep, the latest earthquakes. That was a uh, five point one earthquake over there in Indonesia. That was three hours ago. And then um, another earthquake over there in Indonesia, that was a 5.0 earthquake four hours ago, and then the latest one was uh, 12 hours ago, was a uh, 5.0, so just like it says, Luke 21 verse 11, you know, earthquakes and diverse places, and I mentioned uh, yesterday you had an earthquake over there in uh, Las Vegas, I would say near Las Vegas, the outskirts were near Las Vegas, and that was a 4.4 uh, earthquake, so that's, you know, prime example earthquakes in diverse places. You know, second edge is that verse 3. There should be seen earthquakes and uproars in the world. Uh, Luke 21 verse 11, earthquakes in diverse places as I uh, reference those scriptures. So those are just the latest earthquakes as of now. But there's going to be an increase in these uh, earthquakes in diverse places and the increase in the visitation from the heavenly father, how we know. And uh, let me get to that. Uh, this is uh, the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 1 it says and I will stand upon my watch and stand upon the tower but I will watch to see what I shall answer unto me what I shall answer when I conclude uh, Habakkuk 2 and verse 2 and Yahweh will answer me and say and write the vision and make a plane upon a table that he may run and read it right blessing he may read it as well too this is uh, Habakkuk 2 and verse 3 but the vision is yet from the point of time at the end it says for that it says uh, for the vision is yet for the point of time but that the end shall speak right so the end speak prophecies come to pass and fulfill the increase of biblical signs so the end speak you know of, on behalf of uh, Habakkuk I mentioned this in uh, Habakkuk's second chapter you know our great forefather Habakkuk you know during his times now we're seeing the modern day times because we are in the modern days of uh, Habakkuk spiritually so a the vision is yet for the point of time but the end shall speak not lie to every way for it because it will surely come and not it will not tear so it's not tearing you know so these uh, prophecies uh, that's about to come to uh, come past be fulfilled is not tearing in, in the speaking. And that's what we're seeing. Prophecies are speaking. Biblical signs are speaking. We're seeing in our world today. So increasing biblical signs is only going to increase. And the uh, prophecies that's coming to pass be fulfilled is only going to increase. And it's not going to tear. So it's not tearing no more. And it will surely come. It should be coming. And we're seeing signs of it. see get to that Amos 8 verse 11 because we definitely see the rise of our famines and essence of plagues this is uh, Amos 8 verse 11 yep this is uh, Amos 8 verse 11 it says behold the days come saying God that I will send a famine in a land, not a famine or bread, no thirst for water, but the hearing of the words of heavy body out. Right, so it's going to be a time where it's going to be a, a, a lack of bread, lack of water, lack of food, but the hearing of the words of heavy body out. So it's going to be a famine word. Just like it hit to the Israel the ancient times, during the Amos times. This is going to be, because these are the modern days of uh, Amos as well, too. It's going to be a, a modern day famine word towards the children of Israel and towards all these nations as well, too. And it makes perfect sense. There's no new thing on the sun. Amos 8 verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, said that I will send a land, send a famine in a land, 
not a famine or great enough verse for war to come up, but here we got the wars that have applied to Amos 8, verse 12. And they shall run from sea to sea, from the north, even to the east. Many shall run to a fold. It says, Many shall run to a fold to seek the words of the heavenly Father. How should I find it? Right, that's going to be current in these uh, modern times, just like in ancient times. Try to seek the words of the heavenly Father. Should I find it? Amos 8, verse 13. In that day shall fair verse of a young man, faithful thirst come. Now, let's see if there's some more latest news articles. It says an in-car army is is uh, making gain in the Mymore military, right? Because we've been seeing uh, increasing clashes over that Mymore for you know for a very while, ever since 2015, all the way until now. Since so you had that uh, coup, you know that coup, that government coup, that uh, government overthrow that been taking place over there in uh, Mymore ever since then. And those those armies been in the war over there in that area, as you've been having. Tens of thousands uh, flee from their countries and try to head to uh, Thailand and different parts of uh, Asia. So, you know, those escalations are only going to continue to heat up. Like it says in uh, Second Andrew chapter 9, verse 3, you know, up wars and picking the world in uh, seditions, like it says in Second Andrew 15 chapter as well, too. It says a uh, hurricane, Ernest, and there's still now a hurricane is drenching Puerto Rico and knocking out power. Right, visitation from the Heavenly Father, like I uh, mentioned, mentioned before, I spoke about that. It says uh, M23 isn't the problem for government seed in the Democratic Republic, right, because you've been having an M23 and other uh, factions over there in uh, Congo, which I did previous stories about that. In the previous years, as of recently, so hey, that's that seditions. Second, as the 15th chapter, uh, Luke 21, verse 25, discretive nations will perplex you. So, all these uh, uprisings and uproars of the world that we're seeing amongst the nations is only going to continue to increase. Israel, see what's the latest uh, prophecy updates. As it says, Salah, yeah. it says, uh, Hezbollah said two members killed in the Israeli airstrikes, which is typical. But we definitely. We're definitely going to see the uh, increasing uh, escalations are heating up between Iran and Israel. It says, uh, you know, because they've been clashing over here, in, uh, over there in the Gaza Strip in the Palestinian territory. It says uh, five Palestinian gunmen killed, four troops injured in a West Bank raid, which they've been doing for quite a while, you know, for a long time, all the way to now. So it's definitely heating up between the resistance of the Palestinians versus the IDF. That's why we have these uh, other nations are in solidarity with the uh, Palestinians to target those uh, uh, IDF Edomites over there, you know. Since I mentioned it, yep, this is a uh, second answer. Second answer. So, you know, those tensions. Uh, those tensions over there in the West Bank and Gaza Strip throughout that whole region over there in the Middle East, you know, the uh, IDF versus the uh, resistance of the Palestinians and Hezbollah and the whole Iranian groups and, and uh, prophecy groups over there as well, too, is only going to continue to intensify and increase. And this is 2nd uh, Edges, uh, you have 2nd Edges 13, verse 31, and one shall overtake the fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another. And one round against another, right? So we're going to be seeing that increasingly more and more in these times. 
That's why scripture says, uh, if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So let me switch it up. Let's see if I can get some insights from the uh, latest central digital bank currencies as of late. We're definitely going to be seeing that increase in this world too. The pushing of the uh, implementation of the uh, RFID, central digital currency, cash to society in order to buy and sell. So let me see if there's some latest updates on the MOTV news. So go right to it. So, as once again, you know, these are prophecy, prophecy updates. As of uh, August 14, 2024, like I mentioned again, new, new versus times. So the latest uh, central digital bank currency news, it says Nigeria's in rural, the Bahamas, sand dollar, and other currency failures. Still, you know, it's still going to be a push forward towards the uh, central digital bank currency of uh, cash society. But in the meantime, we'll bring up that Revelation 13, verse 13 to verse 16, as we continue to prophesy about it more than ever. You know, at this uh, cash society, as we're seeing the nations are pushing towards this, uh, all the nations of the planet Earth, you know, pushing towards this uh, central digital bank currency of cash to society and the full implementation of the RFID and CHIP. This is uh, Revelation 13, verse 16. And it calls the all most small and great rich of poor free bonds to perceive a caragua in their right hand or in their F O R E H T A D S. Right, so in order to buy your seal, you got to take that uh, technology of the CHIP, the RFID, of the MOTV, of this uh, digital dollar, digital ID, digital wallet, digital currency, in order to buy your seal if you're upper class or lower class of the economic spectrum. Up the whole planet Earth. So it's going to be a time where it's going to be fully mandatory as it's already here. So once it's, once they give it a full green light throughout the whole planet Earth, it's going to be a time where, in order to function in the society, in order to buy and sell, this is going to be taking place very soon. So we see the signs of Revelation 13, verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, say that he had the Quran or the name of the BDAST or the number of his name. Right. In order to buy and sell, you gotta have that TCHIP or that RFID or that digital dollar or that digital currency in order to buy and sell. And they're gonna use that to scan your body, which is the upper part, the right of your part of your body, in order to buy and sell. Revelation 13 verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him have understanding. 
standpoint, especially that war economic reform as well, too, that's going to be part of the Bitcoin and all the uh, and other uh, alternatives of a uh, cashless society, uh, contactless, fast payment society, and all the all the uh, alternatives that they're pushing for more and more. more. This is uh, Revelation 13, verse 18. Hear his wisdom. Let him have understanding. Count the number of the B-E-A-S-T, for it is a number of a man. And his number is S-I-X, 300, 3 score, S-I-X. Yeah. Uh, so let me switch up the topic once again. See some more uh, latest prophecies. Prophecy updates once again. Uh, it says the IDF placed barriers around Jericho and the West Bank following the parts of the shooting. The IDF set up roadblocks around the city of Jericho in the West Bank on Wednesday night following the initial reports of a shooting at a building in the area. It says the IAF eliminated two Hezbollah groups in Lebanon, right, especially the cross border escalations are heating up between. Uh, Hezbollah versus uh, the Israel Defense Force throughout the borders of Lebanon, Israel, as uh, Israel is waiting for the respond attack from uh, Iran. So the proxy wars is only going to heat up. And Iran versus uh, Israel is only going to heat up as well, too. Even if they try to make negotiation talks or potential of a ceasefire, it's still not going to stop. You know, it's still not going to stop the Escalations to slow it down is only going to spread more and more. It says four IDFs, four IDF soldiers wounded in a West Bank operational activities. It says uh, NATO says based in Germany only raised security level was not sealed off. Okay. Uh, see some more. This is out of Luke 21, verse 9, and it reads, it says, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by end by. Right? So the servants and prophets and messengers that's occupying the prophecies, sound the alarm, blow the trumpet, uh, breaking up uh, prophecy update news as we see it every time, you know. And, you know, we're not going to be terrified of trouble of these things because we're going to know these things in the last days, you know, just like, the, uh, just like our great forefathers. You know, just like you have a shy spoke to the disciples, you know, just like it says in Matthew 24 chapter, the same just like in the book of Luke, you know, just like you have a shy spoke to the disciples, it says, you know, take heed that no man see me. In the last days, there's going to be wars and rumors of wars, wars and commotions, and be not terrified for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by end by, you know. So just like you've been passed on to our great forefathers, the disciples, just like you have a shy spoke to, and been passed on all the way down to us, you know, because it's a generational thing. That shows you that that shows you that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is only in the midst of his people, the Israelites. You know, this is uh, Luke twenty because, like it says in uh, Amos the third chapter, you know, the heavenly Father revealed his secret son to his servants and prophets, which is the Israelites, from our ancient forefathers all the way down to us, from our from our uh, modern day elders, and all the way down to uh, Akim as well too. You know, this is uh, Luke twenty one verse uh, nine. It says, and when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by end by. Right, so it's going to come to pass, but it's not just going to end by end by. In these increasing wars and commotions, other nations are rising up against one another. Luke 21 and verse 10, then say he, it says, then say he unto them, nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Right, so nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. 
just like it says in uh, St. Mark 3, verse 23 to verse 26. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So we're going to see the uh, seditions, the uprisings, and the uproars of people were amongst the nations, amongst each other. The nations uh, rising up against their leaders. You know, that's what we're seeing. This is uh, Luke 21, verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. Right, just like I uh, uh, mentioned the latest earthquakes that have been taking place. You know, that earthquake that hit uh, California two days ago, that was a 5.4. That earthquake over there in Las Vegas, that was a 4.4. And those recent earthquakes that hit New Zealand, 6.0. Over there in uh, West uh, Japan, that was a 7.0. Then that recent earthquake that took place over there in the Philippines, I believe that was like a 7.1, 7.4. So these are examples that we see in these uh, earthquakes. Oh, there, that large earthquake over there in Chile a couple weeks ago, 7.4. So these are uh, increasing examples of uh, earthquakes in uh, diverse places. It says in famines, right, increasing famines. Because, like, uh, I believe uh, it was some news article that just came out, like, a couple of days ago, which I touched on it multiple times. And it had been officially declared, you know, over there in Sudan, they're going through a 100% uh, official uh, humanitarian famine crisis, you know, even though that's taking place around the world as well, too. We definitely understand that. Because, you know, Sudan, they already went through uh, wars, weather conditions, you know, they've been going through a lot down there in the area. North Sudan, South Sudan, they already going through clashes, you know, up wars. Now they're going through famines as well, too, as a crisis. It says uh, famines and pestilence, right? Like I mentioned again, you know, the uh, the health organization guys has made it for the uh, declare that this is a uh, global global uh, problem, you know, global uh, pestilence problem, you know. So, hey, the MPOX made it official. Uh, Lystria outbreak, uh, Chloria outbreak, uh, the measles outbreak, these... Uh, different various variations of uh, pests and plagues that we're going to see more and more in our world today. So, because you got the two different categories of pestilence and plagues with the weather conditions, the tornadoes, the earthquakes, landslides, floods, and then the other categories, the MPOX outbreak, uh, the measles outbreak, the chloria outbreak, uh, and all different various types of pests and plagues that we're going to see increase more and more from the heavy fog. You know, and that goes into that uh, second edge, just 15 verse 5. It says, Behold, say, if you hollow down, bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Now, let's get into that second edge. 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 Let's get into that and as of now, this is uh, 2 Edges chapter 9 and verse 2. It says, I'm going to start at verse 1. This is uh, 2 Edges chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, for thou seest the parts of the signs past which I had told thee before. Right when thou seest the parts of the signs past which I had told thee before. So, we have the Father spoke of this before. When thou seest the parts of the signs past, and that's what we're seeing. And the Heavenly Father told us to take heed to uh, measure the time diligently in itself. As being his servants and prophets and messengers and watchmen, you know, as we occupy the prophecies, uh, give you uh, prophecy updates. You know, that's why we're uh, having that spiritual in increase in discernment of what times we're living in, and we're measuring the time diligently in itself, sounding the alarm, blowing the trumpet, uh, prophesying in the names of the Heavenly Father, you know, as much as possible to the best of our ability. And we're going to continue to measure the time diligently in itself. Second Andrew chapter 9, verse 2. Then thou shalt understand it is a very same time where you're in the highest will begin to visit the world which you made, right? So those latest earthquakes, tornadoes, landslides, floods, famines, pests, and plagues. So that's the visitation from the Heavenly Father. Uh, Psalms 18 and verse 7. Isaiah 29 and verse 6. We're going to see in 2nd Andrew the ninth chapter, the verse 2. It says 2nd Andrew chapter 9 and verse 3. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes, right, increasing of the high magnitude of earthquakes, and up wars with people were right, especially with the latest protests that have been taking place over there in Nigeria, Kenya, uh, Venezuela, over there in uh, England, and other different various parts around the world. 
seditions, uprisings, and uproars in people's world, we're going to see an increase more more in these times. You know, just like Yahweh Shai said in uh, Luke 12, verse 51, mm-hmm. think not that I come to send peace on earth, I'll tell you neighbor and divisions. So divisions between people from their own family, their own structure, their own nations around the world. We're seeing citizens clashing against one another. We're seeing citizens rising against their leaders. And you can read that in second as the 15th chapter. That's the uproar to people's world. There's going to be an all-out uh, uprise, let's say, uh, insurrection. And we see in pro- progress of that, which is going to come to Fort Rebecca as well, too. And this is uh, second Edger, chapter 9, verse 4. Then thou shalt well understand that the most had the house spake of these things from the days of before the new from the beginning. For I saw the heavenly father spoke of these very important signs that was going to occur in these last days from the days of before the new from the beginning. So just like the prophet of old took heed to it, we're taking heed to it as well, too. As we're prophesying against great countries and great kingdoms of war, even the pestilence of the father spoke of, now we see it take full effect on the planet Earth. Just like it did in ancient times when the prophets of old, when they was on the scene. Now we're on the scene of modern day times as well, too. And these uh, biblical signs and prophecies that's about to come to pass with the field, and then we start to see it take a toll on planet Earth that heavy Father spoke of that was going to occur in these times. Second Edges chapter 9 and verse 6. Even so, the times also the highest have plain beginning and wonder and powerful works and any effects of signs. Right? So, powerful works and any effects of signs that's going to occur more and more in these times from the heavy Father. This is uh, the book of Luke. They don't bring us some more news articles. So, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, the book of Luke 21, verse 25. It says, and There shall be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars upon the earth, discretion of nations with perplexity and seas where it's worn. Right. Discretion of nations with perplexity and seas where it's worn. Uncertainty. What's going on in their world today due to the uh, famines and pests and plagues and the uproars and all these uh, things that's taking place. So the stress of nations were flexing, and that's what we're seeing. The whole planet Earth. So let's see some latest news articles. Check the uh, Middle East once again. Uh, this is a uh, news article that just came out. This is as of August the 14th, 2024. Iran advancing research on nuclear bomb det- detonators, new experts tell the host. It says for years the U.S. agencies have maintained that Iran was not engaged in the key activities necessary to develop a testable nuclear device. And I believe there was a uh, news article that just came out from RT of uh, uh, India has launched one of their weapons of an anti-missile uh, weapon, I believe. And recently, you had India uh, had an uh, agreement of, uh, I believe, uh, Iran, uh, now I believe it's Russia, sent more missiles over there to India, which they previously had a deal to it, too. So the cooperation between India and Russia is uh, heating up. It says, uh, I just want to add a sad note to that. Mugatino, with this reading of uh, Iran and their nuclear capability, their bombs. It says uh, a very large amount of Iranian academy research has been refocused to advance issues of relevance to nuclear bombs that nations and the Institute of, for Science and International Security. President David Albright told the Jerusalem Post on Wednesday that this is a potential of a radical shift on how closely a real Iran nuclear weapon threat could become. Even until now, defense officials and analysts always said that no matter how far along the Islamic Republic was enriching, enriching uranium, there will be time to stop it from getting the bomb seen as it has not master key weapons groups activities. Albright is not alone in the Saudi, uh, Saudi alarm. It says recently the IDF chief of staff, Major General um, Mar Baru warned that the uh, Consist Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee of the increasing sign of Iran nuclear weaponization further. The U.S. annual intelligence estimate in July carried similar implied warnings. The IEA has also repeatedly said that it's blind 
and concern about Iran and weaponization as for Taiwan itself. The Iran International just reported on Wednesday that three Iran sources has performed progress of concerning nuclear armament and destination issues. Multiple top defense officials also expressed the concern of the post about the uh, new Iranian uh, nuclear weaponization progress intimating that it, it could be a new place then, if I pronounce that right, Salah, efforts against Iran's recent violations. It says, uh, more specifically, Abu I told the uh, Post will soon will be come out with a report that summarizing the analysts of 150 Iranian academic papers released to a computer modeling for the simulations and connections with the nuclear weapons as well as the uh, nuclear installators. This says, uh, there are some weaponizations are going on under the guide of the civilian undertaking Israeli and U.S. officials are discussing this. If you look at Iranian's academy studies related to computer modeling, their capabilities are quite significant and relevant are working on the codes and simulations that you will need to perform a weaponize of a nuclear bomb. I'll write and explain. Yep, and it goes into that Ezekiel, the uh, third year chapter, that Russia is going to be in regard to Iran. As we've seen recently, that uh, Russia sent missiles over there to uh, Iran to uh, train. So the uh, cooperation between uh, Iran and uh, Russia is uh, increasing. Of the ongoing tensions that they had towards the IDF. And this is uh, the prophet Ezekiel. Yeah, this is uh, the prophet Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 4. It says, uh, it says, uh, Ezekiel 38 verse 4, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in all thy army, force and horsemen, all of them, cloak with all sorts of armor, giving thee great company, buckle of shields, armor, and swords. Right, so the heavenly father is going to continue to put that hooks back into the jaws of uh, Russia to be in that warlike mindset. As we see in the uh, Russian Ukraine situation, is heating up. They have Russia and uh, Iran building up their alliance against the uh, IDF. So, hey, Russia is at, in that warlike mindset. And we see in Belarus and Russia together going against NATO. Russia versus the United States. Russia doing the uh, military activities over there in Syria as well, too. Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 5. It says Persia was uh, Iran. Just like that news article just came out of Iran building up their nuclear capability. Iran is building up their partnership from military warlike perspective with uh, Russia against the uh, Western countries, against the United States and uh, Israel as well too. Ezekiel 38 verse 5, Persia, Ethiopia, Libya with all of them shield of him. And these are the same three nations that Russia recently had a meeting with in building up their military alliance and recently did a military exercise for us with Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 6, Gomer with some modern day Turks. It says, in all his bands, the house of Togomor of the North Quarters, and all his bands, many people with him. Right, so Russia is going to continue to be an ally with Turkey as well, too. Even though Turkey has been playing both sides of the fence, but Russia is definitely going to be a guard hunter of Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, and Turkey. You know? Ezekiel chapter S, uh, tensions are heating up over there in the Middle East. Because you got Russia, China, and Iran, and North Korea. All these other nations that Russia is going to team up with, that it's going to be a guard onto, because they're going to be uh, targeting the Israeli Defense Force and the Western countries and uh, Israel as well, too, which is the Israeli Defense Force. So that's going to be their main target. So the dragons of Arabia is going to rise up. So Russia and these nations that they are uh, guard onto, uh, Turkey, Ethiopia, Libya, and Iran, you know, the dragons of Arabia. So they all going to rise up together against the uh, IDF, which is the Israel Defense Force. And that's what we're seeing being played out in Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, the verse 39 as well, too. In Joel, the third chapter, which is heating up over there in the Battle of Jehoshaphat, the Irish Republic. So Iran versus uh, Russia, that's only going to heat up. And these uh, nations that Russia is going to be a guard into, uh, uh, 
Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with all that was shielded him. And they're going to be targeting the Israel Defense Force. And that's what we're seeing taking place. That's in progress as we're speaking. And all this is in progress, brother. Heavenly Father, Yahweh. He's setting all this up. You know? And that's a beautiful thing. Hey, call him Lord Yahweh. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 6. Be thou prepared, prepare for thyself and all thy companies that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Right, so Russia is going to be a guard to these nations of Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, and Turkey as they target the Israel Defense Force. Because you got the United States and Russia as allies with one another. And that's why we see this heating up over there in the Middle East, above Western Asia. Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 1. Therefore, thou son of man, prophesy against God, and say, Thus said Yahweh, thy power. Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach, and Tubal. Ezekiel chapter 39 and verse 2. And I will turn thee back and leave but the sixth part of thee. And I will cause thee to come up from the north parts, and I will bring thee upon the mountains of Israel. Ezekiel 39 and verse 3. And I will smite thy bow out of thy left hand, and I will cause thy arrows to fall out of thy right hand. Come. And this is uh, Isaiah. Yep, this is uh, the prophet Isaiah 13 and verse 17. It says, uh, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which they should not regard as silver, and as for gold, they should not light in. Right in Russia versus the United States. And the Medes, which is the Russian, they have a the stirring up, uh, stirring up the Medes, which is the Russian, against uh, Babylon. And as for gold and silver, they should not light in. So Russia versus the United States, the escalations is only going to heat up, which we've been seeing for the past two months or so. <laughs> it's only going to increase, you know. And this is uh, the prophet Isaiah. 17 and verse 1, it says, The burden of Damascus, behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it should be as a well heat. Right? Ever since it started from 2015 all the way to now, we've been having the Israel Defense Force usually constantly consistently airstrikes over the uh, Damascus of Syria. So it's a war zone to the country. But the cross border uh, escalations are heating up between the borders of uh, Israel and the borders of uh, Syria or Damascus. And that's why we're seeing Damascus is uh, taken away from being a city, and it should be as well. And we're seeing that in progress as we're speaking. Now, if we get into that book of Joel, the third chapter, start at chapter three and go to verse nine. Go to the scripts a lot. Yeah, this is uh, the prophet Joel, chapter three, verse nine. It says, Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty man, let all the men of war draw near, and let them come up. Right, so as we see in escalations are heating up over there in the Middle East, especially over there in the Red Sea. We have the coalition forces of uh, the United States and Great Britain and the IDF and other coalition forces joining up together, one against uh, Houthi rebels, which is an Iranian backed group. So they constantly consistent using airstrikes over there in the area to target them. And then you've been having the Houthi rebels targeting them as well, too, and targeting anybody that's affiliated with uh, Great Britain and the United States. This is forces of the IDF as they target uh, ships over there in the Red Sea. So the Gulf of Aden and the Arabian Sea and the Red Sea throughout the whole region of uh, nations are rising up against one another. That's what we're seeing. And throughout that whole region in the Middle East, especially Iran versus Israel, Hezbollah versus the IDF, uh, the resistance of the Palestinians going against the IDF and the uh, proxy war groups pro Iranians, Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, going against the IDF. So throughout the whole Middle Eastern region, region, you know, it's going to heat up over in the area. Hey, wars and rumors of wars, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Second world pass, behold, third world coming quicker. Armageddon, Armageddon, one. And that's what we see in progress as we speak. That's why the Heavenly Father's putting that warlike mindset. He's waking up the mighty men of these armies and nations. That's what's taking place throughout the whole planet Earth, especially especially mostly particularly over there in the Middle East, which is Western Asia, uh, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is your house of Joel Joel chapter 3, verse 9, Proclaim ye this among us the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, and let them come up. Right, so, just like North Korea versus South Korea, Japan, the United States, over there, Korean Peninsula, those estimations are going to heat up, as through, I believe, through this week, from August the 19th all the way to the 29th, there's going to be a uh, summertime, uh, which they recently announced last week, and this new week, they're going to have this uh, military exercise between South Korea 
and the United States are the only real intentions they had towards North Korea. So those tensions are only going to heat up between North Korea and South Korea, and North Korea versus uh, Japan and South Korea and the United States as the escalations are heating up over there in the Korean Peninsula. And what's taking place over there in the South China Sea, as we've been seeing uh, countless of times of uh, China uh, versus Taiwan, as China getting closer and closer to invade Taiwan. So that's going to heat up as Taiwan been monitoring the situations of, as of late. The uh, latest military moves of what uh, China is doing over there in China Sea. I mean, all uh, down in the South China Sea as they get closer and closer to invading Taiwan. As China been building up their military presence quite a while as of late. So that's only going to heat up in the United States. They're going to have to get involved in that. Just like they involved what's taking place over there in the Korean Peninsula. With the North Korea versus South Korea, Japan, the United States. That's heating up as well, too. And what's taking place over there in the South, uh, disputed territory, islands, uh, not so far from the South China Sea. The United States involved in that. So you got the United States involved in a lot of wars. That's why that Joel 3 verse 9 is heating up, you know. Because the United States, they got a lot of ad adversaries, more than they have uh, allies. Of course, we understand they got allies. But these other nations that's against them, they got uh, a lot of allies as well, too. So that's why the nations are heating up against one another. So it's only going to tend to increase. Especially with that Russian Ukraine situation, that's only going to heat up. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 10. It says, uh, Meet your plow, sheds, and the swords, and the plenty puts in the spears, and let the weak say I'm strong. Right, let the weak say I'm strong with these armies of nations. As I bring up that newest article, which will bring in, so is your prime example, let the weak say I'm strong. I ran advancing, advancing research of nuclear bombs detonators. The new experts report details. Yep, tells report. So, hey, we're going to see these nations building up their nuclear capability. And that's only going to continue to increase. So, I'm going to continue on. And this is uh, Matthew 24, verse 6. Get to that once again. Yeah, this is uh, Matthew 24, verse 6. And ye should hear of wars and rumors of wars, right? As we're hearing increase of wars and rumors of wars between the different nations and different kingdoms, rising up against one another throughout the whole planet Earth and over there in uh, Western Asia and the Middle East as well, too. It says, See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right? So it's going to come to pass, but it's not going to end just yet. Matthew 24, verse 7. A nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Right? The nation rising up against nation, the kingdom rising up against kingdom, and there shall be famines, right? It's like I touched on before in the second as 16 to verse 18. That goes into that Matthew 24, verse 8. And there shall be famines, right? Increasing famines, pestilence, two categories of pestilence, the weather conditions, and the diseases, the pestilence, plagues that we're seeing in our world today. So I'm going to uh, continue to increase from the visitations from the heavenly father. You know, like it says in the second Edges 9, verse 2. Uh, second Edges 15, verse 5, which I touched on all that, uh, on it already. And earthquakes in diverse places, right? Just like I mentioned that as well, too, previously. Increasing earthquakes in diverse places. So we're going to continue to see the uh, increase in famines, uh, increase in pestilence, increasing earthquakes in diverse places, and uh, increasing uh, nation, rising against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Matthew 24, verse 8, all these are beginning of sorrows, right? So all these just are increasing of uh, beginning of sorrows. Bring up that second address. 16 and verse 18. Yeah, the second edge of 16 verse 18, the beginning of sorrows, which we're seeing right now is going to increase great mornings, right? Increasing great mornings, heavy judgments, the beginning of famines, right? Increasing great famines throughout the whole planet Earth. It says in great death, right? Heavy judgments once again. The beginning of wars, right? Wars and rumors of wars, nation against nation, and the powers should stand in fear. Beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils should come? Right, that goes into that Matthew 24, verse 8. So, all these just going to continue to increase. Let's see if I can find some more latest news articles. If not, we'll just go ahead and wrap it up. Wrap it up and I'll close it out. So I'm 
bring up that jail line. It's going to be verse 8, then I'm going to close it out. Right, so this, hey, once again, this is a uh, latest prophecy updates. That's what's going on in the world today. So come back to you again with another round of it. As of August the 14th, 2024, this uh, Wednesday. Yep, this is uh, the prophet Jeremiah 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before thee and before the old prophesy, both against many countries and great kings, of poor people and vessels. So, you know, we're in these modern day times, just like our great forefathers during that time. So, and we're going to continue to uh, prophesy against great countries and great kings of poor evil and vessels. So, these are uh, war, evil, and vessels. We're going to see more and more increase in these times. That's why we're occupying the prophecies. Uh, these sit down lessons of uh, prophecy updates, which I'm doing right now. Prophecy updates as of August the 14th, 2024. So we're going to continue to be in the know in there. We're going to continue to be on our watch. And then we're going to continue to forecast of these uh, prophecy updates that we're seeing in our world today. And then we're going to uh, do lessons on it. And then before we out there teaching, we're going to mention that as well, too, because we're uh, uh, occupying the prophecies. Because we are a watchman unto the house of Israel. You know, sound the alarm, blow the trumpet now, some more than ever. And so with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying. Another round of uh, prophecy updates as of uh, August the uh, 14th, 2024. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to say Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Kadash. In the Heavenly Father, the true name is Yahweh, and His unbegotten Son, Ba'ashem, in the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Uh, those are the true names in the ancient valley of Hebrew, the last one, Kadash, the whole time, 441, call Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, and uh, Shalom to the uh, elders. Well, I can't. Well, I can't. Until next time, say Shalom.